Now we're in the process of safely unloading the plough onto the ground, ready for reloading onto the trailer. One of the first points that we should make out is that you try and reverse up to some form of local uh, firm point. So in case of the plough falling backwards, um, if you're bumping the device as you're unloading. So here in this example, we're using a fence post, a tree, anything similar like that. Just use your own common sense for what would be best suited for that purpose. That will enable then as we load up that uh, as we come out, just from a safety point of view. Uh, what we first do is then we can unwind the top link and allow it to then take the load off of this because most of it will sit and balance on the points. But because of localised anomalies in the ground, there may be a little bit of instability uh, you've got to be aware of. So we are removing the top link. Placing the pin back in top situ out of the way. And removing your own top link for your purposes. Then we're assessing the pins to make, give ourselves free movement as needed. And then taking all of the load off of the three point linkage. Now we can remove the pins from the three point linkage by just simply wobbling the arms. And upon returning the pins to the top hole or for, for storage. So different tractors will have different linkage points. My small tractor here has what's called category one linkage in the three point linkage, which is a smaller hole than the category two holes that have been positioned in the plough here. To facilitate the connection to my my tractor, I actually need to have a split pinning arrangement like this so as I can have my designed pin for the linkage of the tractor but then a sleeve to bush out the hull to enable it to fit appropriately and correctly into the holes of the plough to allow for any wear and slop to be minimised. As can be demonstrated here, any any use of the plough without the appropriate sleeve will enable an excessive amount of room that can also that can cause potential wear, wear points and also dangerous shearing of the locating pin. So always make sure you're appropriately sleeved and housed in place securely. <laughs> 